Oh yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm putting together a video right now on interstitching balls and what is on the in the center of them because people are calling some things interstitching balls that are not interstitching balls. I've literally looked at hundreds of these now, hundreds and hundreds of these interstitching balls on the centers of them, geological concretions and you know things like that, finding crabs in the center on and on. What you're looking at right down below right there, that's interstitching balls still in their fabric. Okay, I found them this way and I'll, I'll show you the drone so you'll see what they're like when they're in the fabric And I'm going to show you some of the interstitching balls right here in just a minute. They're out of the fabric Okay, so the, I'm showing that's about a hundred feet below me I can see there's about two layers of interstitium in this now that taffany looking stuff you see there right there We're walking on that's actually skin. They think it's caused by eons of the road It looks like erosion by eons of erosion. And it's not true taff uh, erosion actually takes it off now That's an interstitium ball right there, and you won't find any crustacean or any uh, Ammonite or whatever in the center of these I mean I've seen the center of hundreds of these now now these are out of their fabric the ones I'm going to show you right now are in the fabric. I'm going to show you with the drone and then after I show you with the drone, I'm going to show you these in a wall that are split in half. And you can see the center. So you'll see what's in the center of these. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Here I've got the drone out. And we're going to fly over top of this. And we'll be able to look down. I'll be able to get down low on the uh, interstitium. Because this is, a lot of this is still in its fabric. You're going to see the balls loose. You'll see a lot of them laying there. They're out of the fabric there. And those are the ones I was just standing on also. So you can see the interstitium balls. See them all there? I mean, there's there's hundreds of them laying here. And they're all identical on the inside, okay? Okay, we're going to be flying along here. And you'll start seeing, you won't see the balls that much now because they're in their fabric. I call it a cocoon because it's a cocoon looking thing. They're inside of those, those they look like a little sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't know. You see, but the balls are inside of there now. So you can't see the balls anymore because they're inside of those. See what I'm saying? Here's another shot of it. I'll come straight down on it with the drone. And they're in, the, they're in their fabric right there. The balls are not out of the fabric, okay? Does that make sense? They're inside of those right there. So now let's look at something else. So you have an idea of what we're looking at. Now some of the balls are barely breaking out there. You'll see a little, but those are, they're laying inside of those things. Now I'll talk later about the straps, but the balls are inside of there. Okay, now this is a geological concretion, so to speak. You will, the, it, this is not an interstitium. People are calling these interstitium balls when they got a clam and stuff, and it's just not true. I'll show you inside. I found this in the in that bilipid membrane, and there's no way an interstitium ball is going to be that much smaller than a two to six nanometer in my bilipid membrane. So there's no way this is an interstitium ball. And I will show you what's inside those where I just showed you where they're laying in the fabric and everything. So let's take a look and see what is actually inside a true interstitium ball. All right, now, these are separated interstitium balls. They're laying actually in skin because it's got eroded and decayed. And we're going to be able to look inside these interstitium balls. Now, like I said, I've looked at probably well over a thousand of these now, different styles and stuff. Now, you'll see you'll see no clam or nothing inside of any of these, okay? Now, I'm walking over some also, so be looking on the ground. You'll see the pink interior, the pink nucleus to them. Okay, I'm not sure if that's one or not right there. That's pretty good size. It could be two of them stuck together because... Well, there's one right there I'm putting my hand on. That's an interstitium ball, okay? Now we're going to be able to look inside here of ones that are sitting inside of this wall. We're walking actually on skin. That's what this is, this taffany looking stuff. Now there's an interstitium ball with a nucleus, and that's what the centers actually look like in, in every one of them. These are all identical, okay? They're not uh, like a geological concretion with a... Um, a nucleus center like a crab or a clam or what are they, uh, ammonite or whatever they are like that. So I'm not sure what's going on with the ammonites and stuff. They, they could be some kind of parasite or something that the body encases in um, something to keep it from going into someone else's backyard. I'm not sure what's going on with that um, that way. But there you can see there's another one right there. See how pink they are in the center? And that's what they all look like. There's one right there. Yeah, right there. And they all have that, that rind to them like that. So, and we're going to see quite a few of them right here real quick. There's one right there to our left. There's, I'm walking over one right there. 
There's one, two, three more in the wall right here. And there, I mean, I've looked at these. I mean, unless I take a magnifying glass, electron scan microscope, there is nothing in the center of those. They all look like that one right there. Okay, so that is what they are. I mean, you're seeing it with your own eyes. Okay. <clears throat> so, and a lot of them are just too small to be interstitium when you compare them with a bilipid membrane that's 2 to 6 nanometers, and you, know, you find out how big an interstitium will be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I've, I've got another clip here, a little different angle. I don't know if we're going to see much interstitium in there, but that, I think you're getting the point. So, yeah, there's some in here too. This is, we're down a little bit lower right here, a little bit lower elevation. This is a different video piece. And that's all tissue, uh, skin that they're setting in. That's not just plain old sandstone. So here's another one. If I get, I can't get up to it because of the water. But they're all the same in the center. I think you're kind of seeing that now. So, interstitium definitely has its own distinct pattern. Um, so I'm not sure what some of the other stuff is that's being seen is. It's definitely not interstitium. So, all right. Hope that makes sense. And um, we'll be bringing you more. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye now.